the thrill of discovery. That's why I, what makes me go out of the bed in the morning. I like to ask questions and I like to um, try to answer things that haven't been answered before. Sense of discovery. Uh, even in small problems, you, you know, you work through something, um, you get that, that little bit of information um, that you need to complete a problem and that, just that moment is, is really makes it worth it. We're kind of making new knowledge, which is very exciting. Castro is so well communicated that all the collaborations I have with other nodes are really well facilitated through Castro. One of the forefront parts of Castro has been the travel funding. Um, so we've been able to have face-to-face -face meetings and week-long workshops with our American colleagues, maybe twice a year actually, um, and that's really helped us progress. They've been really good at helping to fund my PhD and letting me travel to different places all around the world really. Um, uh, and go to conferences where I can talk about my research with people and get new ideas. My favourite experience with Castro was when they allowed me to do outreach far in the middle of Australia at Uluru and I was allowed to go there and just talk to people about science, about astronomy. I designed a writing workshop for students and so it was really great because we got to trial it at uh, one of the Castro retreats. Students really loved it and gave us great feedback. And now uh, Castro has given the student committee some money to actually put on that workshop in five major cities. So I'm really excited about putting that forward and I'm really grateful to Castro for supporting me in that. I'm very happy that Castro is organizing this paper writing workshop and I think that's going to help me a lot just getting some general foundations on how to properly write a paper instead of just writing a thesis report. Castro is really, really good at inclusion, fairness, equality um, across the board. It doesn't matter your background, where you came from, who you are. If you do good science, they're, they're willing to support you in all ways. And I have two young children and they have this great program where you can um, go to a conference and they provide childcare free of cost just so that you can go. And there's been times when I've been able to use that. And without that, I wouldn't have been able to go meet people, network, um, grow collaborations and do good science. At Castro has done things like the Women in Research talk. So there was one held at UQ, I've done at uh, Women's College that Brian Schmidt talked at. And that, that was really illuminating. I guess you get the statistics and you figure out like, why is there the gender difference where, where are different genders dropping out during their professional lives and it's been really uh, insightful. I'm usually very surprised with how many senior women there are in Castro and my experience in other places I've worked before hasn't been like this. It's a very hard problem trying to fix kind of a combination of practical difficulties and entrenched attitudes so I don't want to give the impression that everything is fixed but I think that Castro, it's really obvious that it's a priority. I really appreciate the fact that a lot of the really high profile leaders, including the really high profile men, have really stepped up in Castro and said that this is important to them. I think it's really important to take Castro's legacy in terms of outcomes of the Gender Action Committee and policies around conferences and to actually apply them to the wider astronomy community. So more and more conferences are inclusive and make it a safe space for everyone to do astronomy.